Last year, unfortunately, we had a beloved teacher um, pass away. And my first thought last year was, it would be great to have a therapy dog in the building. We have an awesome counselor and he did a wonderful job, um, you know, with the grief and talking through um, with students what had happened. Um, but my thought then was, it would really be nice to have a therapy dog in the building. This is Harold. And I've had Harold since he was six weeks old. I have always kind of had a dream about doing therapy work. And I had a dog about five years ago and we had already started training um, to do therapy work, but unfortunately we had an accident and he um, is no longer with us. So when I got Harold, I thought, well, I think Harold will be a therapy dog, but I found myself um, just not ready, quite ready to get back into that. So I let that dream kind of lapse. And then I got an email just a couple of months ago, literally, and I forwarded that email on to Ms. Cyphers and she got the same email, I didn't even know that. So she applied for a grant and she got funding for the grant. We received a grant from the Greater Clark Health Foundation for $5,000 for the program to help us get started, which includes the actual acquiring of the dogs and their initial training, their initial vet care and our startup supplies to go with the program. The dogs are trained through Duffy's dog training in Jeffersonville. Um, they'll start out, what they're working on now is their canine good citizenship test, and then they'll advance on to their dog therapy training. And they'll have to pass a test with the National Therapy Dog Association in order to get their certification to be at the school. And there also will be a letter to opt out of the program because we realize there are those students who might have fear of dogs or allergies with dogs. We're going to notify the parents and let them sign off on that. As a parent, I think that this will be an excellent experience for my child, especially coming from the special needs community. Therapy dogs are used quite frequently, and my daughter has had the experience of being able to work with one before in a therapy session. And it really tends to calm her, especially when she's in a state of heightened awareness or heightened or when she's been escalated to a point where she needs to find a way to be at peace and the dogs, I believe, will bring her that ability without having to go to a calming spot or um, being removed from the room where she's missing instructional time. We're gonna be able to offer Penny as a way to help our students' mental health. And if we have students that need calming down for some reason, we can bring in one of our therapy dogs to help that student. We're also gonna be able to use her in the classroom as classroom visits, maybe to hype up and get them excited for a test or to be able to get them to focus. And it's also gonna help my health services students to learn responsibility and dependability. I know how valuable uh, therapy dogs can be for students. Um, so our hope, you know, is that we have the dogs greeting the students when they come in so they feel that warm welcome, ready to learn here at school. And anytime there's any kind of stressors, like a test coming up or um, even a classroom test or a major standardized test, we're gonna go ahead and go out into the classrooms and those students who want to can just pet the dog. It's shown that um, just the act of petting the dog relieves anxiety, um, reduces stress, and students in schools with therapy dogs are doing better on achievement tests.